Hi, this is so emotion to watch. I wish people would stop asking because you don't know what couples go through, especially when you are trying and the result is not there. This couple, they have been together for 17 years. Together since high school, they have been together since they got married in 2014. Try all the things from 20. 14 to 2020 and nothing is happening then they decided to go for IVF it's only God it's only God that understand what couples does what TT mom and their fellow TT mom go through it's only them but rest of us don't really understand although we try to be there but we can't is it emotional and every everything here they have transferred the IVF in 2020 and waiting for a miracle to happen and the process, you know IVF process, it takes a lot of time and it falls. She took a break after six months, bought a house and decided to go for another IVF, which they did and they are waiting for their miracle baby. God come through for them and it was successful and in 2020 they were expecting a miracle baby God and they decided to share the good news with grandpa and he was so excited I can imagine I can imagine he was so emotional he can't even hold himself God you know what 17 years is we don't really know but it's only God that can come through for them. And it's, it's tearing apart when you tried your best and it's not working. And they decided to hear the first heartbeat. And it is, it is there. They were excited of hearing the heartbeat. But unfortunately, they miscarried the same day. The same day they heard the heartbeat. God. I wish people would stop asking, stop asking, and she focused on losing the weight for her to achieve her goals. Waited a year, do surgeries there and there, going for IVF again, transfer number three because the first one fell, the second one they achieved it, but on the process it fails, and the third one also failed. I'm always feeling sad and I bring it out here for us to pray for them.